Hey everyone, Slinks Tigers here, and today I'm going to do a hero card review on Morgan Le Fay. Alright, so, Morgan Le Fay is part of the Knights of Avalon event, so if you're looking for her, that is where you would find her. She is a 5-star nature hero of the Sorcerer class, which means if you max her out and you give her some emblem, she will get Delay, which is negative 50% mana generation for two turns. She is also part of the Avalon family. So this is kind of a newer thing. Uh, they're doing in Empires and Puzzles. Um, basically, families give bonuses for each unique hero of the same family in battle. So if you have two heroes of the Avalon family, you are going to get plus 5% critical chance, plus 4% healing. If you have three heroes of the Avalon family, you'll get plus 10% critical chance, plus 6% healing. Four heroes would be plus 15 crit chance. Uh, plus 9% healing, and of course, if you have a full team of Avalon family heroes, you're going to get plus 20% critical chance and plus 13% healing. So it's kind of similar to um, the uh, Atlantis heroes with the family, so that's pretty cool. All right, so with an attack of 716, I would say that's kind of low. A defense of 721, I'd say that's on the low side of average. Um... And an HP of 1343, I would say that's kind of average. Um, all right, let's get into her special skill. Uh, Devourer of Vitality. With a mana speed of fast, if you can get Devourer of Vitality. Devourer of Vitality. Vitality, uh, level 8 out of 8. The first thing it's going to do is the caster drains 672 HP from the target over four turns. This effect cannot be dispelled, but gets removed if the caster dies. The second thing it does is the caster gets plus 94% defense against fire for four turns. So, basically, this bitch is a vampire uh, who you can't set on fire. Uh, part of my French, but it's true. I mean, she's draining the target. So, whoever she hits... Um, she does damage by just sucking their soul out. <laughs> she just she just sucks out their um that could turn into something really dirty. Um she <laughs> she drains their HP 672 uh, health points from the target for 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 uh, for four turns. Um all right, so no the effect can't be dispelled, but if you kill her, um then it gets removed. So, and then the second thing, of course, the plus 94 defense against fire for four turns. So, as many of you know about the uh, color wheels, the rule of replacement stuff. So, you've got the tri wheel, which is the red, green, blue, and you've got the dual wheel, which is the purple, yellow. Um, so, these, these kind of work a little bit like rock, paper, scissors. It's rule of replacement, so they kind of can, like, take out one another. So, red... Like, fire takes nature, um, and nature takes, um, ice. So, um, she gets 94% against nature, so that's really great. Um, that's really, really great. Um, so yeah, she's draining the enemy of their health, and she's got, she's gonna be hard to kill with red heroes. So, placement for Morgan Le Fay. She's kind of a good hero all around. It just it it depends on what synergy you have or what you need her for. Um I mean, she drains the enemy of their health. I mean, she's basically a vampire. Um and then plus if you, you know, add the whole sorcerer delay thing, add the whole negative 50% mana generation for two turns, she's kind of just like making it really difficult. For her enemies <laughs> to really do much. Um, so it really kind of just depends on what you need her for. Um, I think she's great on defense. Uh, she's good offensively. And she's decent with Titans. Um, let me know if you have different thoughts about her. Uh, do you like her? Do you dislike her? Do you have any questions about her that I can answer? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, a little nerd knowledge for you guys. Did you know? That Morgan Le Fay, a powerful female figure in the Arthurian legends, represents control, sorcery, and manipulation. During King Arthur's reign and in various romances and folk tales, Morgan shows up as a shapeshifter. She is a fairy, a queen, a mermaid, a beautiful young woman, a crow, a hag, 
and an enchantress or a witch. So that's kind of cool. Um, kind of suits her ability, <laughs> really. So yeah. Anyway, uh, if you're summoning for her, I hope you get her. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day, guys. Bye.